Evan has over 1 million YouTube subscribers and today we're gonna to talk about one of the things that he did with engagement on his channel that really boosted his numbers even more. That's coming up. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and welcome to Video Creators. We are all about helping you grow your YouTube audience so you can spread a message that reaches people and changes their life, which is what Evan basically does full time on his channel every day, reaching millions of people, over a million subscribers. And in this series, we this is episode number six of a 10 part series about what he did behind the scenes to grow his channel from zero to one million subscribers so that you can do the same. So click the card you see around here to go back and watch episode number one and catch up on where we are here. But today, on this this video we're talking about engagement so what did you do in your channel that made a big difference reply to every single comment how many comments is that now hundreds a day yeah oh yeah. yeah 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 hundreds a day okay here's the thing at the beginning of a channel when you get a comment it's it's the best right like when you when you first get started thanks mom <laughs> right I, I you know I had a video that that was three years old that like just got its first comment on that video and I remember when I, in the early days, every, most of my videos got no comments, zero comments. And if I got one comment on five videos, uh, it'd be like, wow, I got a comment, it's amazing. And you just, you treasure it and it's easy to respond and you wanna respond. The challenge comes when you start growing your channel. For those of you watching who are a little more established, it's difficult, you can't respond to every single comment. And so what a lot of the YouTubers do is, They'll say, okay, I'll respond within the first half hour of this video going live, or I'll spend an hour a week doing comments because I have to spend my time doing something else. And for me, that mindset just brings me back to video number one in this series, which was around, you have to think like an entrepreneur, you have to think like a CEO. And so at the beginning of any business, if I'm selling flowers on the, on the street, I'm doing everything. I'm, I'm picking the flowers, I'm selling them, I'm doing customer service, I'm doing everything. But if I then expand and I have a flower shop, I'm not doing everything anymore. Like I'm not gonna respond to every person who comes in the door. That's why you build a team, right? And so that same analogy, you know, I see somebody who's leaving a comment as, as one of my customers, as somebody that I'm serving. You wouldn't have somebody come into your flower shop and not talk to them, right? right. right? And so, but it doesn't mean it has to be you. Mm -hmm. And so what I do is I, I built a team and they respond as themselves. They're not responding as me. It says, hey, Luca or Sandra or whoever it is. Luca responds to me usually. Luca responds to you. And, and it's, not as, it's not the same as getting a response from the creator. But it's so meaningful. It's, like, it's better than nothing. I'm like, oh, I was, still, I was noticed. Most of the comments that, that I get are probably the same as you guys. It's like, great video, thank you so much, learn so much, it's inspirational, amazing. Those things are great. I don't, I don't need to see them anymore. What I wanna see is all of the, all of the bad stuff and all the suggestions. Anytime somebody hates on me or on the video or says this sucks for these like eight reasons, that's, I want that. So my team goes through all of the comments and then pulls out the ones that I need to see and we set criteria for what makes it to me and then the rest that they're responding to. And so we get hundreds of comments every day and everybody's getting the response. When somebody gets a response, they're what, seven times more likely to subscribe to your channel. So you, you want to be responding to every person who's leaving comments on your channel. The good ones you want to heart, and especially like the heart ones now show up at the top mm -hmm. where everything else gets buried. So like the negative comments you can bury just by, by you could pin one to the top, but then you can heart yep. the ones and they'll come up to the top and they get notified like, hey, Tim hearted my comment. Mm -hmm. And it's, they come back to the video and watch it again maybe, but they're also building up like, man, I feel good. I feel recognized. Yeah. I feel recognized for leaving a comment on Tim's channel and look, I got this mm -hmm. appreciation. Yeah. I think making the practice of going to every single comment, giving a response, we try to do it within 24 hours and then doing other little things to like surprise and delight. Like I love going randomly and checking out my subscribers' channels and leaving comments on their videos. Mm -hmm. And I think this is a great thing for, for anybody watching. If there's a creator that you like and you're learning a lot from their content and nobody's commenting, just leave a comment. Like if you appreciate it, like, yeah. uh, just say something. I don't think you have to be at any level. It's just like recognition is, I think just human regardless of what size channel you are. Every time I'm on a smaller creator's channel and I like the content, I always leave a comment. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And just to train yourself, like just show some appreciation mm -hmm. for the other creators out there, because it's so hard. Like you guys know how hard it is yeah. to build a channel. Yeah. So if you see somebody at the start with no comments, like learn and practice being the first to comment on people's videos, not for strategy and like first, right? Yeah. But, <laughs> but just to show some love, because that karma I think is practical. How do you guys manage that as a team? Is everyone just a manager of your channel? And then they just go to youtube.com slash comments and everyone's just kind of like catching up in there or do you use other tools or what? There's a bunch of tools. We use Agora Pulse and it brings in all of your social media comments. And so if, like if Luca's working on one, he'll he'll like claim it so nobody else can do it. And then he can also assign it to me to say, Evan, you need to see this one. This is your comment, yeah. I love Agora Pulse. The only thing it doesn't do is you can't heart comments in there yet. Yeah. But for the API. Right. Yeah. yeah. So there's nothing they can do about that. That's not there. That's not there. And bad. you can't pin either. Yeah, pretty sure. But if you're getting like across all my channels, I get around a thousand comments a day, all ch all channels combined. Then that's a lot of comments. Yeah, we have a lot of channels too. Yeah. Uh, then like it would just Agora Pulse is like the only way that we could just get in there and like just crank up, crank through all of them. So engagement on your channel is important, but also is taking that engagement in those people and getting them into an email list and something that you can control the sending to send your videos out to them and other things. So we're going on to video number seven of this series. Click the video on your screen to go watch that. You can click the other thing to go all the way over to back to the beginning, watch an episode one. But uh, we'll see you guys in the next video, episode seven, about email. See you there.